Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today I will be talking about Season 4, Episode 34, A True Account, starring Jane Greer, Kent Smith, and Robert Weber. Um, this episode of True Account, it was a good solid episode. I feel like this is a pretty typical Alfred Hitchcock Presents uh, episode. Uh, it's something we've seen quite a few times before, but that's okay, because this episode's done uh, pretty well. Um, so... We start with Alfred Hitchcock getting a checkup, which uh, the scene's okay. It sets up some of the themes of the episode pretty well. Uh, it's fine. So then we start with uh, one of our characters. His name is Paul Brett, and he's a lawyer. And he's talking on tape uh, very briefly, which will be important to the end of the episode. Um, so we go to kind of a flashback scene, and it turns out that this lawyer, Mr. Brett, is going to be meeting up with a woman named Miss Cannon. Uh, it turns out she needs some advice from a lawyer. She says she knows that a murder took place. It was committed. Um, and she needs to know what to do next. We find out that she's a private nurse at this time. So then we go to another flashback scene where um, this lady is telling this story. So we get to meet her patient, a Mrs. Uh, Hughes. And this uh, elderly lady seems to not be doing that well. Uh, and she wants to see her husband before... They go to bed for the night. So Miss Cannon goes to uh, Mr. Hughes, the husband. He says, your nurse wants to see you. She also recommends maybe they get another nurse because she says, your wife doesn't like me. And he convinces her to stay after saying they've gone through several nurses already. And uh, she's done the best job in his opinion. So at this point, Mrs. Hughes suddenly has a relapse. We don't see how this happened. Uh, and it turns out she's in a coma. Miss Cannon calls the doctor and tries to do what she can to save her, but the lady sadly passes away. So then we go to uh, after the funeral. We jump in time a little bit, and it turns out that the husband, uh, Mr. Hughes, gives Miss Cannon uh, a generous amount of money and tells her that she's earned it, even though she's reluctant to take it. And I feel like they're definitely going to see each other again at this point. So... At this point, we get a scene with uh, Miss Cannon and her roommate, whose name is Alice. And there's a couple of these scenes throughout the episode, and they're fairly amusing. They kind of break up the more serious tone of the episode. So, eventually, she gets a call uh, from Mr. Hughes, that is Miss Cannon, the nurse. And it turns out he's not sick. He just wants to ask her to go out to a concert. And she kind of surprisingly uh, agrees pretty easily. <laughs> So, at this point, it definitely seems that the two have been going out for a while. Mr. Hughes comes by to Miss Cannon's apartment to help her paint. He tells her he's got to go for a, away for a while. He can't stand being in that house all alone. And he kind of proposes to her on the spot. And she agrees to marry him. Now, I will say I thought the weakest part of this episode was kind of this little romantic part in the middle. It was important to the plot of the episode, but I just didn't think it was that interesting, and I thought it could have been a bit more convincing. Everything just happens really abruptly. But um, it was fine. It serviced the plot okay. So then we go back to the law office briefly, and um, our nurse here is still telling her story. We get another flashback as she talks about how her husband seemed to change at this point. So, it turns out that her husband, Mr. Hughes, Hughes is on edge. He's acting very possessive. Uh, you know, he doesn't want her to go out with anyone. He just wants to stay home all the time. Uh, making us, the audience, possibly think at this point that uh, maybe this man was putting on some kind of act before, but we're not really sure what. So then we go to another scene. It's nighttime, and we go to the bedroom, and Miss Cannon walks in. On Mr. Hughes and he's like sleepwalking or talking in his sleep and he basically gives away the fact that he killed his wife at this point uh, so we go back to the law office and uh, now we understand why Miss Cannon's there she says this is how I know that he killed his wife this is my proof um, you know tying into the beginning of the episode there's a lot of flashbacks all over the place in this episode which uh, we're done okay so our lawyer, Mr. Brett, at this point, tells the wife, um, you know, maybe he married you because a wife can't testify against her husband. Maybe this was all an act. But then we abruptly go to another uh, scene, and this time it's a funeral. And it turns out Mr. Hughes has passed away. 
uh, that he did himself in and that he was mentally disturbed and maybe he also felt guilty about killing his first wife. It also turns out that um, Miss Cannon inherits everything. It also turns out as we go back to the law office yet again that she feels very guilty about everything that's happened. Um, but at this point, it seems like Mr. Brett's falling for her as well. This girl's uh, definitely got some magic charms. And they wind up getting married. So at this point of the episode, it's kind of interesting. Also kind of all over the place with all the flashbacks. And I'm wondering, what is the twist going to be? How is this going to end? So we go to another scene, and it looks like they're a pretty happy couple. And, um, you know, Brett at this point tells Miss um, Cannon he's got some work to do but when he goes upstairs to check on her it turns out she's talking in her sleep about killing Hugh's wife now I have to say this twist took me off guard but it also just kind of comes out of nowhere and the episode led you on so hard to believe that Mr. Hughes killed his wife that this didn't totally work for me it kind of worked it's also kind of convenient that everybody kind of walks into these conversations at just the right time but it's one of those things you just got to to go with so at this point we go back to the very beginning of the episode which i guess is supposed to be present day and it turns out that brett is back talking on the recording again but he's laying down on the floor he's a goner it turns out that miss cannon killed him as well because he found out what she really did and it turns out she also killed mr hughes who didn't do himself in it turns out that she did all this um, you know, to cover her tracks, basically. So my question would be, why did she kill uh, Mrs. Hughes to begin with? Maybe because she wanted Mr. Hughes for herself. I don't know. This episode, I have mixed feelings about it because I thought the ending twist was pretty good, even though it kind of came out of nowhere. Some of the other twists and turns and some of the romance in the episode didn't totally convince me. But ultimately, the episode is well acted, and the ending twist did fool me. So I'm going to give a true account, 3 out of 5. It's definitely one of the more elaborate episodes. And I think they, for the most part, succeeded more than they failed. So a 3 out of 5 for a true account. And as always, thanks for watching.